Hi, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And today we're talking about how to automate reports in QuickBooks Online on a schedule. The, uh, the point here is to automate as much as possible. And QuickBooks Online is the only cloud accounting software product that I know of that actually lets you create a, a group of reports and then schedule them so that they automatically get sent to you every single week. And if you're an accountant or bookkeeper watching this, then from your perspective, you can set this up and have the reports automatically be sent to your clients. And the clients really appreciate this. Uh, this is coming as part of my resource that I've created on five accounting tips for online or digital marketing professionals. So with that in mind, um, if you're watching this, you'll want to create the reports I'm going to show you, set them up in a group. And the key that I wanted to emphasize that I emphasized in the article is that this is important to review together with the accountant and the business owner, in this case, the online or digital marketing professional. Let's take a look at my screen and see what this looks like. So I went ahead and ran the reports ahead of time to save the time and save you the trouble of watching me click around and create reports. But just so you know where to go, once you're in QuickBooks Online, you'll want to start by clicking in the reports area over here. Uh, I've gone ahead and ran all the reports. These are actually the very same reports that are in the article uh, where I uh, put the reports that I recommend that you at least start with. So the first one is the balance sheet, and that's going to show up right here in the recommended reports, of course. And the key is to run it for the date range. I have it for all dates because I'm in a sample company file where there's not you know, a whole wide range of time, so to speak, covered on these reports. The key is here where you want to display it by month. So you'll set the date range probably for this year to date in most of your cases is what you'll want to set and then make sure that you display the columns by month so you get the monthly total now what we're going to do is we're going to customize this and uh, actually no never mind customizing it we already did that let's save the customization we're going to create a new group and we can call it cash flow reports right or call it whatever you like then that creates the group and adds it here and this is the balance sheet we might want to call this monthly and then let's save it. And I'm gonna go through each of the other reports and save them the same way. Here's the profit and loss, right? Now we have the group already created. I'll select it and hit save. Next one is open here. This is the statement of cash flows, also totaled by month. Let's save the customization. Here is the transaction report based on one bank. And this has an interesting option here. Again, not something I've seen in any other cloud accounting product where you can set the date range to just based on 30 days ago. And if you follow along with what I'm suggesting here, these reports go out every week, but every week you'll get this based on the last 30 days. And what that means is that you'll be looking at this stuff several times over. And that's not by accident. It's so that you have several chances to catch anything if there is something in there that doesn't look right, especially if you have anything fraudulent going on in your bank or credit card accounts. So I did the accounts receivable aging. Now we're going to do the accounts payable aging. And then we get to the sales by customer summary, which is the last one on my list uh, that I suggest you look at. Actually, it's the second to last one. The last one is going to be based on your balance sheet. So let's click over here on balance sheet. And normally you would have an account somewhere here in the equity section based on owner draws or shareholder distributions or member draws, depending on the kind of entity you have. And you would want to run a report based on that and look at the transactions just so you're keeping a gauge on how much money you're taking out of the company. Since we don't have that here, because again, it's a sample file, I'll pick on the opening balance equity. So from the balance sheet, you'll scroll down here, click on the amount, and again, set the date range to the last 30 days since 30 days ago run that and then here we can customize it real quick just to change the header so we call it distributions or something that makes a little bit more sense I'll run that save it into the group and I know I'm going fast because I really want to get to the important part here which is how to automate the sending of the reports so now I'm going to close the other tabs and let's go over to reports and we go to my custom reports and it now has the entire list of all those reports that I just created and memorized in here. Notice here at the at the top where it's we're talking about the actual report group cash flow reports that we created. It says unscheduled. I'll click edit. I want to set the email schedule and turn it on. Here's where I would list the email addresses separated by a comma. Most importantly, here's where you're going to set the frequency to let's say weekly. And I like to actually send them out to my clients on a Sunday. 
I'll put my own email in here just so it'll let me kind of save this. And of course, I'll customize the message that goes out. This is me speaking as the accountant who's setting this up for my clients. And then I'll hit save and close. And now notice here, it now says every week. So every week on Sunday, I'm going to get a series of updated reports that as long as I'm managing the bank feeds properly and keeping those up to date uh, you know, throughout the week, then each Sunday I know I'll get an updated series of reports that I can review. And if you're the business owner, what I suggest is review those reports when you get them on Sunday or Monday, and then plan on reviewing them with your accountant, let's say the following Wednesday, after you've had at least a couple of days to review them yourself and, and list any questions that you may have. That's what my clients do with me. They get the reports on a Sunday and we'll have a 30 minute uh, remote meeting using Zoom on a Wednesday or Thursday where we'll go through and I'll address any questions that they have. And sometimes the clients point out things to me that I couldn't have known as we were updating the bank feeds throughout the week based on how things might be reclassified and whatnot. So this gives us an opportunity on a regular basis to be very much on top of what needs to be coded uh, or recoded and where and why so that we identify issues and fix them quickly so that at any given time our books are really solid and up to date. That, my friends, is how to automate reports in QuickBooks Online schedule.